right long overdue, but let's get started. So we're gonna start at the door here. I'm not sure where the item's from. I will link it in the description box. But there's Paris. We are gonna be going to Paris in May 2020, so we are super excited. Here is a nice front mirror. We got this mirror from Walmart. This shelf is from Ikea that we just installed. So that way we can just put our keys there. So right next to the door, we have our front window. These curtains are from Ikea. They're actually the same curtains that I used in my bedroom in my last apartment, um, as well as the middle sheer curtains are the same ones as well. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is <laughs> the lights. My boyfriend put those up randomly and it actually worked. Actually, the other elephant in the room is this. I thought I'd put it on, it might. Although, you know, our current fireplace is out of commission because we don't have any fire in there right now. So I thought this will have to do for now. Anyways, these nightstands are from Scott. Again, this is our first time living together, so a lot of the things in here are gonna be mixed together. Some of his things, some of mine, so we've really tried to make sure it looks decent um fair as well as cohesive plants are from ikea the lamp is the lampshade is from walmart the actual lamp post is from his mom so i'll link that below i got these a long time ago actually from target these lights this couch is his he did not like my couch whatsoever that was in my old apartment so we switched it to his that comes with a little ottoman and it's a lot smaller because this place is a little bit smaller than my old place so it actually fits a lot better the pillow is from my amazon these other pillows we found this one and the blue one and the gray one are from walmart the tan ones i believe are also from ikea or amazon i'm not sure which one anyways we got our fluffy blanket here this one was also in my old apartment now these pictures here are graphics that I actually designed myself. The frames are from Dollar Tree and we met in we met in Arizona. So I put that there that we found love in the state of Arizona. Thought it was kind of cute. This mirror was actually a part of his old bed frame. It was like at the it was like a bed I'll put the word here of what I'm trying to say, but we took the hooks off the hook. There were two metal hooks here, took the hooks off and he painted it white. So it looks really, really pretty. The rug here is in my old bedroom. So we just put it in the living room, which I think looks really nice with the couch. Next we have this table. This table was his mom's. It was actually a really light, light gray before. If I have a picture of what it looks like, I will put it on the screen. Um, but pretty much this was his project and he stained it and made it this really pretty old rustic color. Really, really pretty. This tray I had in my old apartment as well. Some few different things on here, but most of it's the same. Got some different flowers, remotes here. Another Paris accessory, super excited. And again, this is from Hobby Lobby and the coasters are from target the tray itself was from tj maxx same tray that i had in my other apartment as well table here these tables these side tables were in our bedroom before but we've switched things around again to make it more cohesive here's another picture that i designed. i just got this from um a graphic website that i use but i will be posting a video of some diy decor really really soon so stay tuned for that this picture I had in my other place as well. If you haven't seen my old apartment video, I will link it in either in the eye or in the description box. We didn't know that we were going to be going to Paris next year. It was a surprise from his parents, but we've had all this stuff way before. So it kind of is pretty cool that it symbolizes that we're going to be going. So here's another picture. This is from Ikea or fireplace here. He painted this white. This fireplace was actually this color. Wanted it to stand out more, so he painted it white. He was on like a white paint spray for a while. These are his bar stools. I'm not sure where he got them from, but I will link it below. We have 
this pretty frame from Dollar Tree with some Dollar Tree accessories. Again, this is going to be a part of my DIY home decor video, so stay tuned for that. And this tray was his mom's that he gave us. And these coasters are from the Dollar Tree. These were actually on my old dining room table in my other apartment. So here's kind of the overview here. So you can see everything. Really hope you like it. All right. Now moving on to this side. This shelf is from Ikea. Um, again, the plants are from Ikea. I'm trying to figure out what to put here. I'm thinking like a big clock and moving that out or maybe just putting like a DIY picture of like home or a painting or something. So still figuring that out at the moment. A wonderful TV here with the fireplace going. This is pretty much the same as my old apartment. I'm trying to figure out something to cover for this. So if you have good ideas, let me know. This is the shelf is from Ikea as well. Pretty much the same as my other one. Just put some books there. And these candle holders are also from Ikea. Side, this is the front overview here. Next to our door. And then you come pretty much into the living room. This is from when we're actually inside. This is what you see when you first come in. limits i'll save that for a part two but definitely subscribe so you can see our bedroom and everything that's in there moving on to our dining room now these pictures are also graphics that i created and the frames are also from the dollar tree diy video coming soon guys please stay tuned <laughs> this lamp and plant is from his place Pretty, they're a little bit older, so if he remembers, I will try to link it below as to where he got them from. Our little setup here, these shelves are from Ikea. It's a part of my DIY video as well. Now, this is the reason why I hope you guys stay tuned for the DIY video. This picture is something that I am creating right now. I've lost a little bit of inspiration for my picture but i'm hoping to get it soon because i really want to continue filming the diy video so i keep it up there for inspiration and motivation to make sure i finish it soon this table yes well let's start from the bottom and we'll work our way up this rug is from i'll link it on the video or in the description boxes mother was kind enough to give us that or let us borrow it as well this table was his, it was a part of his apartment. And of course I couldn't get rid of this. If you saw my previous apartment tour, this was from an awesome find from the Dollar Tree. And I kept the same flowers here that were from Michael's. And here's our little dining room set up. And this is right next to the overview from our living room. All right. Moving on to the kitchen. You might be wondering why we have a rug in our kitchen. Now, this rug was gifted to us as well. I don't know what that is over there, but we're gonna, just don't mind that. Anyways, this rug was a gift for us as from, from his mom as well. So, which was really kind. Rugs are expensive, you guys. So, it was so nice. Now, I'm not sure if it was from his mom or his sister. But, either way, we got it as a free gift. And we put it here because we are very heavy-footed. And we're on the second floor. And there is no carpet other than in the bedroom. So, instead of, you know, heavy foot here. We got nice, soft feet here. So, we thought it would be perfect. As you can see, we went over this. This is our overview. This is what we see when we are in the kitchen and our tv does move around in case i didn't show it before our tv does move around a little bit my boyfriend did install this so he did really good hopefully it won't leave that many holes when we move but our tv does turn around so that way we can see it when we are 
in the kitchen. So I'll kind of show you guys what we like to do when we're in the kitchen and we just turn it around and watch while we cook. Anywho, this was his microwave. Our place didn't come with an automatic microwave like on top of the stove or anything. So this was his. Back in here for some snacks. You know, we got some Kool-Aid and some bread in there. Microwave. We have a little spiritual picture here. Thought it was really pretty. And this looks a little ugly as of right now, but we just went grocery shopping. So we got some fun snacks in there and cereal, honeycombs. These are his. Those I don't really eat, but honeycombs, yes. Got some chips, pretzels, whatever. Not gonna show what's in there again. I don't really think that that would be anything interesting. We have our grocery list. We use it from, we use it most of the time. We need to get another one because we're running a little low. Toaster, this is the same toaster I believe that I had in my old place. Same with this, these stove top, is it stove top covers? I forgot what they're called, but those are from Ikea. This picture was a sweet gesture from my friend from high school that gave to me a few years back. This is a piece that we were gifted. It did have a mirror behind it. We still have the mirror. Let me show you where the TV stand. So we put it here. Of our kitchen. We try to keep it simple. I don't really like too much things, too many things going on in the kitchen, just because I get overwhelmed. And if you're wondering where our cleaning things are, it is under the sink, and we do put them back under here when we're done and or just keep it on here but I didn't I didn't think it looked really good with the video so I just kept it under the sink so again here's an overview of our kitchen again sorry if I'm breathing heavy I thought I think it's really cute pretty we're still working on again some other items here some more decor pictures DIY but we really love our place and it's very homey so this is our home and i really hope that you guys enjoyed it I'll give you another overview here from our dining room